Lycopene, a powerful anti-cancer nutrient for everyone. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, lycopene is one of those carotenoids that you find in plant foods that makes the food red. So red tomatoes and watermelons red because of the pigment lycopene, which happens to be a carotenoid. Now, many carotenoids in plant foods can be converted into vitamin A, like beta carotene is an example. But lycopene cannot be converted into vitamin A. Now, lycopene concentrates to a significant, a significant degree in the male prostate gland and in, 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 in semen. It's an antioxidant in the prostate gland and has other anti-cancer properties that are very noteworthy. But lycopene also concentrates in other parts of the body. It's very high concentrations in the adrenal glands, in the testes, in the skin, in the liver, in the kidneys. In fact, uh, of, lycopene represents 50% of all the carotenoids found in human serum. You know, lycopene is, is, is very prominent. So the body obviously needs it. And it needs it for a number of reasons. Lycopene is a powerful, powerful antioxidant. So it quenches free radicals before they can do damage to our tissues, causing genetic damage that might lead to mutations and then on to cancer. It helps to interrupt that cycle. Lycopene also has a host of anti-cancer properties, more than I can really get into in this video, but when you click on the link below, you'll be able to see some of the features of lycopene. Multimodal activity as an anti-cancer nutrient and also modulates the immune system in a way to decrease your risk of infection and to also, if cancer cells are emerging, get the immune cells to help kill those cancer cells. So it's, it's invaluable. Animal studies have shown us that lycopene helps to reduce the risk of cancer developing in the lung, in the colon, in, in the prostate gland, in the breast, in endometrial tissue, and blocks the replication of even uh, cells that are leukemic or, or leukemia cells, if you will. So that's powerful preliminary evidences that translate into human, uh, human living conditions. We're not sure yet. Studies are underway to evaluate that. But lycopene is really promising, and you should make sure that your lycopene status is optimal. There, are, there have been some supplementation studies because lycopene affects the prostate gland so profoundly. They've taken men that have prostate cancer and given them lycopene supplementation at specific dosages, and they've shown they can slow the progression of the prostate cancer and in some cases actually reverse it in conjunction with other dietary and lifestyle and supplementation measures. So those studies have been completed. So what I suggest you do is you click on the link below and you can learn how to obtain optimal levels of lycopene on a day-to-day -day basis and how to use lycopene as a supplement for cancer prevention and for complementary treatment of a number of health conditions. Now remember that machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, you see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've created, they're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. Um, all my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're getting only sound evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.